Back here at home, negotiations are underway as to how much aid the U.S. should send, not only to Israel, but also to Ukraine. The White House and Senate leadership in both parties wants to link the two spending plans. But other Republicans, including Florida's Rick Scott, want them to be considered separately. Fox's, Fox 13's Evan Axelbank spoke to him today. The Israeli assault on Hamas terrorists in Gaza has led some to question whether innocent Palestinians could be killed. Senator Rick Scott says their lives hinge on the actions of one group, and not Israel. The person that's responsible for any atrocities in Gaza is Hamas. Um, they're, the, they're the ones that have caused this. They're the ones that went in and killed um, you know, 1,400 people and 33 Americans. And the senator argues there is nearly universal support for sending immediate aid to Israel to help them root out Hamas terrorists and cripple their networks of tunnels and communication systems. Israel has no choice. I mean, if they don't go destroy Hamas, <clears throat> then this will happen next week or the next week or next year. But he says assistance to Ukraine is more complicated, especially given the involvement of the U.N., he agrees with new House Speaker Mike Johnson, who says the two packages should be separate. The White House and Senate leaders, Democratic and Republican, say they should be all in one and pass by the November 17th funding deadline. I don't know many people don't want Ukraine to win, and I, and I don't know many people that don't want Russia to lose, right? But we got to look at how we're spending the money. Since 2010, Scott has visited Israel five times as a governor and senator, most recently this summer. In 2019, he visited one of the neighborhoods that was attacked by terrorists on October 7th. He says one family he met was out of the country, but many of their neighbors were killed. I've talked to some of these um, uh, survivors, like this one young girl. She talks her friends into going to that festival because she'd been the one before, and they're dead or they're kidnapped. That's why the senator says Israel has no choice. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.